everyone, Krista Moser here. Today I get to show you my latest pattern. This is Tolly the Turtle. It's a baby quilt and you can see I've done it in these very vibrant tropical colors with the rich deep turquoise, um, orange and pink as the turtle shell and then of course green as the body. And then I also did it in this very soft palette so you can kind of see the variations and uh, just how versatile it is to do something like this. Now of course it is written as a baby quilt but it would make a cute wall hanging as well. So what I thought I would do is show you all the different cuts that go into this quilt. It's very simple and it's actually done in rows, but it involves quite a few different cuts that can all be made with the Creative Grid 60 degree diamond ruler. Now I'm using the large one because the background, the ocean are very large trapezoids. So actually the piecing is really simple. And um, I start with strip piecing. So what I've got here, of course, this is for the turtle shell. So I've sewn an orange, and a pink strip on either side of a black and white stripe. Of course, I love using stripes. I think it makes for some really fun detail like what you see here. So our turtle shell is made of hexagon blocks, just like this, and that's done with these strip sets. So what I've got is, white, like I said, the orange and the pink, and you'll notice my orange is an ombre stripe. So I love using ombre because you end up with such a variety of shades as you cut across a strip set, and that gives you quite a variety when you go to lay it out. So you have a block that looks a lot lighter than one that looks a bit darker, and I think that is really kind of fun when you're, um, when you're just working with a few different fabrics. So here we have the strip set is sewn together. I'm gonna to take the ruler, and I am using the triangle lines. These come across the tip here. So I'm going to line them up, the flat tip at one end, and my four and a half inch line down here at the bottom. And then I'm just cutting on either side, just like that. And now I'm going to turn the ruler to get the next cut. So these will end up as two different um, turtle shell hexagons. So one that has the pink as the large piece, it's going to look very pink. So that would be like this one here. And then the one that has the orange as the outside edge, that one will look very orange with a pink center. So you can see how you get a lot of variety out of some pretty simple piecing. Okay, turning it, one last cut. So there you've got it. So I'm gonna take this and this, put them together. I've actually cut some others just like that. So I have those here. So these will join that collection. And I took the flat tip of the ruler and I cut these outside tips off. I find that makes for some really easy piecing when you go to do final assembly and sewing everything together. So I will do that later when I go to finish this up. But for now, you can kind of see, here's my pink one cut from one side of the strip and you can see how the orange kind of changes just because it was that ombre and so then I've got the same thing happening with my orange so one block looks very pink and the other looks very orange and you can play around with the arrangement of your shades so that it's lighter on one side darker on the other it's just a fun fabric to work with so that's the basic design for the turtle shell then we get into the body of the turtle and of course that's green, so let me stack these to the side. And so the green body, now I use two shades of green here. I think using um, multiple shades that are very close in value is a good way so that you your eye sees something as a whole piece. So when you're looking at the, the turtle body, it still appears as one cohesive arm or the head, the legs, the tail, but you get the interest by using some, some shades that are very close together. So I tend to do that a lot. So here I've got a green uh, solid and then I have already cut from a green stripe. So I've got some of those pieces, those are coming up. So here's the green solid, now I'm gonna do some triangle pieces. So of course, I'm, I'm doing the same, same size cut, the four and a half inch line, turn the ruler, and get the next cut. I'll do that a few more times until I have enough, and I also trim the outside tips on those. But then, it needs some pieces that kind of fit in and they have a blue ocean piece sewn to them. So here I've done some strip sets 
where it's a green and a blue sewn together and I did a variety of these. So a couple of them have the striped green and a couple of them have uh, different ocean colors. It's good for mixing it up. Here again, same size. It's all that four and a half inch size. So here I get a triangle with a, with a green trip, tip and then I turn it and I get the triangle with a blue tip and a green base. And another one of those. And this will make up the feet, the head, and some of the tail. Just a spot. Okay, so how those are built. It's very straightforward. So I'm going to take these and put them together. I had some cut earlier. One of them with the striped fabric. I've got these that I can put together with some I had cut earlier. Also with the striped fabric sewn on there. So for the feet, this would be here and here. Those ones, this is how they are made. So I'm just going to take one of my ones with the stripe, one with a solid, and then one of these ones with the stripe again. So this will create the left foot. Now do the reverse, something like this. Maybe I would use this one as the right foot, just like that. So you can kind of see how the elements work together. These are very simple to, uh, once sewn, it's one whole foot. Now for the head, let's say the center, this is this part here. So we've got the head here, and then we would put three of these around it. So this creates the head. And all the rest of the ocean pieces go on all sides around this. So you can kind of see how this is going to create there. And everything gets put together in a row, so it really gets broken down pretty simply. So I'm going to stack these up, and now I'm going to show you the ocean cuts. Okay, so for the ocean pieces, this is the background. I have got all my different blues. Now I used four different blues, and so I'm going to cut some pieces from each, because that's sort of the beauty of it, is that you end up with just slight variations in your ocean. That's how it would actually be in nature, right? So what I've got here is one of those ombre stripes again. So I've got kind of a darker section. It moves into a lighter section. Kind of a natural progression. So we need triangles, diamonds, and trapezoids from this cut. So what I'm going to do, same thing. This is exactly the same size cut as the ones I've already shown you with the four and a half inch line and the flat tip. So I will do at least a couple of those. Just like this. Now if you turn the ruler to the side, so up and down gets you triangles. You turn to the side to get diamonds. So I'm turning to the side now to do the four and a half inch diamond. You need a few of those too. I'll just cut one like that. So we've got some triangles, we have a diamond, I cut a diamond earlier, those ones, so we'll put that in that stack. Now you turn the ruler back towards the triangle direction, but you move it way, way, way down. So in this case, you're bumping it right down here to the eight and a half inch line. And by doing that, you end up with the great big trapezoid. And that is what makes up most of the um, ocean cuts, so just like this. So, I had cut some of those earlier of the brighter ones, and then I have some darker shades. Give you even darker. And you know what's what's fun about doing something like this? When you're fabric shopping, and I'll just kind of cover this for a minute. When you're fabric shopping, a lot of times what you end up doing is either getting too matchy matchy or thinking, oh, it's too close, and I need to go with something that's a little bit uh, different. But what I want to point out is while these are all somewhat different, there are some that are very, very close. And that's actually really, really good. So just like I was saying with the green, where I did a striped green and then a solid green, but the value of them is very similar to each other. Same thing with the pinks and the oranges. And then the same thing with my ocean. The value of them is really similar. And you'll notice 
if I show you here, this one is very blue, this one is very green, then we have one that's very dark, and then another one that is kind of in the mid-range and reads a little bit more green when you put it all together. But what it reads as a whole is actually really kind of cohesive. There's some variation, but it's not too matchy-matchy, and at the same time, it lets the turtle be the show. So that's something that I did in this one as well with just a much lighter color combination. What I actually used for fabric there were a couple of whites with some turquoise and then a sea glass color and a green color. I'll show you the fabric bundles here in a minute. I just think it's interesting to, uh, to talk about color in a way and how you can get the focus on the, the main thing. In this case, it's the turtle and let the ocean sort of be the supporting element. So now we've got all our ocean elements here. This is how they would go in rows. So you would take these trapezoids and eventually it'll get to a point where you need a triangle and a diamond. In this case, a triangle and a diamond. And I'm mixing in all those colors. So as the ocean goes along, you kind of combine these different shapes. And some of these rows, like I said, they go in rows like this. So some of it's ocean, ocean, and then gets to part of the foot into the turtle shell some of the head and on up and just sew your rows top to bottom. That's all illustrated in the pattern. So if you have the pattern, this is going to be on page 10 and you can see the way that everything is illustrated out with uh, the different rows top to bottom sewn together. So it's all the steps that I already showed you coming through here into your cuts and then you get to the final layout and that really shows what, to, what you do it there at the end. I wish I had room to share on the table here, but there's just not enough room to do the layout. You really probably want to have a design wall. But let me talk about the fabric bundles. So of course I'm doing kits for these because it's really um, something I enjoy doing, picking out all those colors. So just like I said, you know, we've got two greens, a solid and a stripe, and value-wise they're real similar to each other. So the turtle always looks like, you know, he's one whole piece. And then we've got two oranges, a stripe, and a solid, two pinks, the black and white stripe, and then the four different ocean turquoise colors. So those grading, still in kind of that, that rich range, but they're all slightly different from each other, so it's going to be really a fun way to do it. So that's a kit. So I've done a kit for this one, the, the tropical version. I also did a kit for the light version. So here are those fabrics, and we'll kind of talk about those for a minute. Of course, two greens. I used a stripe again. Much softer, softer palette, but bright and cheerful. So, and then we've got two different oranges, kind of on the pinky side. Two different pinks. A lighter stripe. So I did a light gray stripe here. And then when it gets to the ocean, I really wanted to incorporate some kind of novelty prints of sorts or, or graphic prints. So I did one with letters. Turquoise on white um, with letters. Kind of a newsprint. And then a sea glass and uh, and kind of a green sea color and then a little polka dot one. So those make up the light ocean around the light version of the of Tully and really let the focus be on the turtle itself. So really, really fun. So I'll put links to both of these kits and the pattern, of course, in the description box. It's my latest pattern. It's so much fun. I think it'd be a perfect baby quilt gift. Um, if you're expecting or know somebody that is, really, really sweet project. And you can see, once you break down the elements, it's really not hard to do. Thanks for watching.